Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Jeff, Beard Nation. Today we're going over the best settings to maximize frames and performance in Warzone. Now the plan for today is to go over PC settings, in-game settings, and for your Nvidia users out there, your graphics card settings. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to jump into the game mode settings on PC. We're going down in the search bar, we'll type in game mode, toggle into the menu. We're going to want to make sure that game mode is turned on. Now, the only reason you'd want to have it turned off is if you don't have these graphic settings right here. So you see hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. You want to have this turned on with game mode on. If you don't have this option, you want to go ahead and turn game mode off. Next up, we have captures within the game mode settings. We want to make sure that these are both toggled to off. Last but not least, we have the Xbox game bar. So we want to make sure that this is toggled off. The reason being is it's not necessary. You can still log into the regular Xbox app. You can still party up, party chat, and do what you need to do with your friends on Xbox. From there, we're going to adjust our power settings. So we want to go down to the search bar, type in power, go to power and sleep settings, go over to the right and click additional power settings. And you'll see you have a couple options here. What we want to do is go to high performance. We want to make sure that we're not limiting our CPU or our GPU from drawing any power. Last but not least, we want to make sure that there's no background apps running. This is completely debatable, completely arguable on how much this affects performance. I personally like to know that there's no apps running in the background and affecting my game. Unless these apps are game related, I don't want them running. So what we're going to do, we're going to go into the search bar and we're going to type in background apps. As you can see here, it's pretty simple toggle. You can just completely turn it off. Now, if you want to pick and choose the apps that you want to have running in the background, you can toggle this back on, toggle these all to off, select the ones that you want to run. It's simple as that. So this is the part you guys have been waiting for. These are my in-game settings. Jumping right in, I'm going to go through these pretty quickly. First and foremost, we have display mode. I'm running full screen borderless. I'm tabbing in and out of Warzone, going to OBS, going to game capture, going to different programs. This is what I like to use for my workflow. If you're not tabbing between programs, run full screen by itself. That'll help you maximize performance. Next up, we have our screen refresh rate. Make sure that this matches your monitor's highest performance. In this case, I have a 1440p monitor with 165 refresh rate. You want to make sure that this matches. You don't want to limit yourself. Render resolution. Make sure that this is set at 100. Make sure that your resolution right here matches your monitor's highest performance. There's some advanced settings here if you want to change it. You can even lower this down to help increase frames. So if you're running a 1440p monitor, you can dial this down to 1080p, maybe squeeze a few frames out of it. Not my personal preference with the Warzone, but choose what you want to do in terms of getting the maximum of frames. In terms of syncing every frame of VSync, you want to make sure that this is disabled. The reason being, it's going to add latency in the system. Unless you're getting a lot of screen tearing, this is not a necessary option. Make sure it's disabled. Now jumping into the NVIDIA highlight settings, you want to make sure that this is disabled. The reason being is that every time you get a double or triple kill in Warzone, it's going to start recording. That recording is going to be encoded through your GPU. Your GPU is the reason why you're maximizing your settings. So if you're encoding through at the same time you're gaming, you're going to lose frames, you're going to lose performance. The next setting here is the NVIDIA reflex low latency settings. There's essentially two options. You have enabled and enabled plus boost. The selection here is all dependent on if you're CPU bound or your GPU bound. For those that are GPU bound, you want to hit enabled. For those who are CPU bound, you want to hit enabled plus boost. Once your CPU is bound to that specific setting, the GPU is going to help boost that and give you the extra performance that you need to run the game properly. Next up, we have the details and texture settings, and here's what I'm running to maximize my frame rate and performance. I'm currently running streaming quality at normal. There's a debate here if you want to run low or normal. I found the difference is pretty minimal, but it's really up to you. Test it out, see how it works. Texture resolution, we want this at normal. Texture filter anastropic, we want this at normal. Article quality, I've actually found that I'm getting better performance at high versus low. Full impact and sprays, we want this enabled. Tessellation disabled. On-demand texture streaming disabled. So here's the shadow and lighting settings that I'm running in Warzone right now. And quite honestly, I think these are the most important in terms of maximizing your frame rate and your performance. I'm running shadow map resolution at low. I'm running cache A spot, cache A sun at disabled. Depending on your RAM, you can enable these. I've tested both, haven't found any difference. It's really up to you guys. Particle lighting, I'm running on low. Ray tracing, which in my opinion is a gimmick, is disabled. If you turn this on, you're gonna lose 20 to 30 frames instantly. Ambient inclusion, I'm disabling it. Screen space reflection, I'm disabling as well. And these are the best settings that you're gonna get. These are gonna maximize your frame rate. Last but not least, we have the post-processing effects. I'm running anti-aliasing at SMAA 1X. Some people like to run this at off. Some people run it at 2X. I mean, it's pretty debatable. I found that the, the 1X is a good happy medium between shit ton of jagged edges and getting the performance that you wanna get. I'm still experimenting with it. 
I, I just want to let you guys know that this is debatable for me. Test it out, see what you guys like to do, see what your frame rates are, depending on your graphics. Cause so I think it's really important that if you're seeing your enemies at a far range and it doesn't look like a bunch of jagged edges, that's more of an advantage than getting a better frame rate when you're seeing them up close to trying to win the gunfight. See what works best for you. This is where I'm at. I'm at SMAA 1X. I'm gonna keep it there for a while. I'm gonna test it out. Depth of field, I'm disabling it. I don't see any advantage to this. I wanna make sure everything's crystal clear regardless of what I'm looking at. Filmic strength, you're gonna set this to one unless you're running those anti-aliasing 2X or T2X. I run it at one. I haven't tested it any other way. Now for world motion blur and weapon motion blur, just turn them off. If you have these on, if you're on console or PC and you have either one of these on, Godspeed. If you turn them off, you will thank me in the end because geez, this doesn't make any sense. I don't even know why they would add this into the game. Yeah, I guess because it's gonna be realistic or whatever, but turn them off, you'll thank me. Film grain, turn to zero. So those are my PC settings and my in-game settings. Next up, we're going to the Nvidia stuff. If you don't have an Nvidia card, an RTX card, feel free to hop out of the video. Go down in the comment section. Let me know if you have any questions. Make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this video. You RTX users, stay tuned. We're jumping into it right now. So for my Nvidia users out there that are running an RTX card, here's the best performance that you can get. Here's the settings that I'm running to maximize frames. We'll just right click, go to Nvidia control panel. We'll toggle 3D settings. And I'll slowly scroll through them. I think an important one to call out right here is that your power management mode is set to maximum performance. And one thing additionally, if you have a G-Sync monitor that's compatible with NVIDIA, make sure the setting, it'll populate here, make sure it's set to the right performance. You want your G-Sync to be there. You want that turned on. I personally don't have a G-Sync monitor that's optimized right now, but when I do, I'm gonna make sure that setting's good. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope this information was helpful. If you have any questions, go down to the comment section. Let me know. If there's any information that you thought was false or inaccurate, please let me know. I'm happy to correct it. I really just appreciate the support. If you want to keep this content going, make sure you hit the notification bell. Make sure you subscribe. Support Beard Nation. We're going to keep this going. Love you guys.